Hey everybody, the Banga is back. Welcome to part 24 of Let's Play the Second Reality Project 2 Reloaded Cyclaboos Challenge. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, so what's this about darkness? Welcome. Please join us. <laughs> okay, what am I going to expect here? Well, at least I can see. So it's not going to be absolute darkness. I wonder if it's just going to be a maze. I feel like I've seen this tile set before, but it would have to be like in a Japanese-style horror game. That's the only explanation I have. Oh, God. I had nowhere to go, really. Yeah, I know, I could have reacted, but I was trying to telegraph where it was I was supposed to go. Do these things hurt me? Yes, they do. And now you know. And that was kind of pointless. It didn't really help me in any way. Now, if I recall, this only has one exit, so... It's not like we'll be going here twice. Huh, this actually has Zyklaboo's music. It's weird. Oop, don't even think about it. Yeah, I'll just kick you down here. Just thought I'd find myself needing to use it again. Oh, these hills are so steep. You go down real fast. Uh, try to land on the top of these hills, like those Excite Bike hills, and you should be fine. Oh, thank God for the red switch that was activated a long time ago. Oh, really? Is this all just for coins? Not even a power-up? Oh! Turns out that's actually a block. It didn't even look like it. That was weird. Everything just blends right in. Hey, <laughs> we. Alright. So far, so good. Doesn't seem like a puzzle. Oh, well, that was bad. I don't really get the whole darkness part, though. Like, I can see where, I, where I'm going. So it's not really dark. Or maybe the uh, second half will be pretty dark. Yeah, uh, I think I'm better off just waiting. Yeah, you ain't getting up that hill as easy as I can't. Okay, I think this uh, Goomba is gonna cause a little bit more problems than you realize. That's better. I actually had to time that so well. The Goomba was actually in a very bad spot. There's way too many boos here. Said like a no alcoholic ever. Oy. Well, at least I can see. The problem is you're so restricted. Because there's literally boo carousels at pretty much every turn. Not to mention, some of these boos do go towards you when you look at them, and then don't when you're looking away from them. So that adds another element of, uh, danger. Yeah, let me hit that. Okay, you know, those blocks there that actually have power-ups actually have little dots right in the middle. Where they seem a bit brighter. So, that's your tell that they're actually item blocks. Okay, now we got that figured out. Alright, let's go. Oh, well, there's the darkness part. Every time you hit the switch, the darkness goes back up. And I'm not talking about that band that goes like, I believe in a thing called love, that kind of thing. Oh god, did I just create a monster? Not necessarily, I can make it. So try to shave off as much time as possible. Wait, does this stuff even kill you? No, I don't think it does. I mean, all it does is block your vision. Yeah, this stuff doesn't even hurt. It'll make it hurt on the eyes later, but still. As long as you're paying attention to, like, your surroundings and... get the environment memorized, you, you can pretty much do this in absolute darkness. Well, that would be near impossible, but still, it'd be close. 
you'd have a general understanding of what to expect. Yeah, I'd rather you over here, so I can get across. Uh, I was hoping to do, like, ducking jumps, but it doesn't seem like it's gonna work the way I want to. Oh, we're done. Lots of paintings of Thurlocks there. <laughs> why that is. Alright, next level. Starshine Top? I think I remember this one actually having a secret. Can I fly up here? No. Yeah, let's not do that. Okay, the Tasa looks like it's from Kirby's Dreamland 3. Okay, I'm confused. Does the uh, eyes hurt you when they're open? Let's find out. Yes, they do. So let me go this way. If you swim a certain way, you're pretty much guaranteed to never get hit by them at all. Oh. Let's try this. Oh, shit, that did not pan out the way I wanted to. Jeez, I got done this the whole time. And now I'm back where I started. I went through all that for just... Ugh, for just one Yoshi coin. Hmm. There should be enough space for me to fly. So I don't really need you. I wouldn't be surprised if the secret is actually involving of this. But then I probably could have gone up here eventually. I guess we'll find out. Hmm, this is weird. Never thought I'd see a portal like this. I'm guessing I have to make sure that I'm not hitting the eyes at all. <laughs> I figured you'd check out the gate and come here. Sorry, but there's nothing to see. You can't get past my magic barrier, so there's no point in trying. Go back and fight Zyklaboo. Or are you scared? <laughs> oh, okay, so we, we can't even do this secret. Alright, we'll remember that for next time. So I guess when I defeat Zyklaboo, I can actually return here. Is that what this is? Okay. I'll remember that for later. But for now, I guess we're only gonna get one exit. That's a pretty interesting gimmick. In case you're wondering where that music is from, it's actually a remix from like the uh, third floor of the museum in Mario's Time Machine. I still remember that game. I mean, it was a bit bad. I mean, it was an edu edutainment game. So it was fulfilling its purpose. But I remember, like, the uh, back of the box lying to you, thinking you are going to have some kind of platforming part with a dinosaur, which never happens, by the way. Which is blatantly lying to you. I mean, they could have put, like, a little bit of action and edu edutainment there at the same time. At least Mario is missing, tried. Wow, that was lame. Oh man, so many eyes. It's like the dark matter in Kirby. Do I follow the coins? Ugh. How deep is this? I think I have to get like under here. Okay, this looks like a way out. This must be it. Hopefully. We oh got a big boo. Oh, well. Now I got no power ups for this part. Beep! Plumber alert! Beep! Catch you! Beep! Stash face! Aye! 
Okay, gotta take on Lemox. Oh god, he uses a death laser. Okay, so what's the point of this? Oh, I know what he does. He just goes like up and down and I just have to continue the level as normal. Wow, that was a lot of progress that I had. I was trying to get the mushroom and I'm just... Oh, wow! Get back up, thank you. I don't think he tracks you. If anything, he's just gonna periodically go up and down. And you have to make sure you put yourself in a position you can actually avoid him. Like here, for instance. Well, at least the lasers aren't instant death, even if you're big. So, that's going for me. Problem is, this area is so slippery. Ugh. Over here, we're safe. Eh. I almost put myself in an even worse position. Eh. Oh, you can't even stay in the air long enough to think you can just jump over the laser. Okay, so far, so adequate. I'm not even gonna say it was so good, because this is not going so good. I could be doing this a hell of a lot better, you know, if I just didn't suck so much. But to be fair, I mean, this is a pretty tall order sometimes. Oh, why did I do that? Like, that was dumb. I could have easily got away from that. Yeah, I had to get to the left side. Oh, I almost slipped right off to my doom. Oh, there's a pirate ship. Huh? I think I should grab this first. Oh, oh, get on the ladder! Yes. Bip! My ship! Bip! No trespassing! Bip! Oh, plank! Aye! Looks like he's trying to get back to normal. Oh, okay, you do have to jump on him directly. Oh, he's moving faster now, he's spewing out grinders. Oh, this is not a hard boss! Okay, now there's explosions? Don't know how I feel about that then. And fireballs, but he's defeated. Wah! Mario! 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 Oh man, that was so horrible! You have no idea what that felt like! That crazy mage was crazy, man! Mario, these guys are trying to destroy everything! And I mean everything! They're out of their minds, really! Please! You must stop Zyklaboo! You know what, eh? Eh? I'll bring you up there! My airship is flying again! A positive side effect of you pressing the switch, so... Hang on! Oh, you're gonna help me! That's... Nice of you, I guess, Lemmy! And this is why I always play as you and Mario Kart 8! I don't know why, but I've always liked Lemmy. All right, let's do Starlight Road. You don't seem happy. What do the moons do? Oh, okay, moons hurt you. Yep, it's not like I got a warning of any kind. Unless I was supposed to talk to Lemmy, and then he would just told me like, hey, you know, these moons are gonna hurt you, you know. Oh, so many Alfred chicken sprites. Well, actually, it's colored and kind of 16 bit, so technically it's Super Alfred Chicken, but I never played that version. I own the Game Boy one, and I let's play the NES version. But I never tried Super Alfred Chicken. Maybe I will sometime in the future. Because I remember uh, Alfred. Damn it. Alfred. Alfred, damn it. That's his name now. 
Wow. So much trouble for like one power up. But I'm pretty sure Super Alpha Chicken is just as nice. I mean, Alpha Chicken is not like a triple A title by any stretch of the imagination. It's just a simple platformer. But it has its quirks. I mean, that's what the games back then actually were. They didn't have a deep story. It was just something completely random, unexplained, but people enjoyed it because, well, it had bright colors and had interesting gameplay and things like that. It didn't have to reinvent the wheel and have like a 20 hour story or be overhyped and only have five hours of gameplay despite winning 120 awards or being nominated for 120 awards without even being released yet. But you know what I mean. You don't need that kind of massive hype. Not to mention, like, a day one DLC for, like, you know, 20 bucks, and you're only gonna get, like, things you're gonna use three times. Seems like an absolute waste, but... Oh well. Some companies do DLC r really well, like Nintendo does, Koei does, um... Uh, who else does it really well? I think Midway kinda does. Or, well, was Midway at the time, once it did more combat. I mean, they released characters and attire, but still. They were characters you could actually use. Wow, that was bad. Oh yeah, most uh, indie game developers do a DLC really well, like the Binding of Isaac and the Wrath of the Lamb DLC. I mean, that just expanded the game to the point you pretty much had to get Wrath of the Lamb, otherwise it's not really Binding of Isaac anymore. Wow! Went right up into the moon, like it's going out of style. Oh, thank you. That was actually a very tight squeeze. Why was there a moon right there? Was real people actually gonna hit that? Okay, I don't know. What? Are those the Rip Van Fish, but actually above water? This part's not easy, because, I mean, it's nighttime, and the line is dark. So you have to have very crisp vision to see it. I mean, luckily the sky itself is not pitch black. Otherwise, it would be impossible to see. Damn it. Alright, I'll take advantage of invincibility time, but I wouldn't have gotten hit anyway. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Get in the pipe. Don't worry about that scum. Oh, nothing over there. Okay. Oh. Ooh. Okay. I did not know those little sparkies would be here. It's a good thing I made the jump right. Eh. You know, if I remember from five years ago when I did a Let's Play a Second Reality Project 2. I remember the secret world, uh, Cat Goom Kingdom, actually being quite hard. Like, some of the levels themselves can take, like, 20 minutes on their own. Yeah, I remember them being absolutely annoying, and some of them did have secret exits. Oh, so many bony beetles, so little time. Well, actually, I got a lot of time. What am I talking about? Just so little time to be dealing with them. Oh, That could have been something. God, there's more to this. Or at least it looks like we're on some kind of ruins or a base. There's so many eeries and boos. I guess I could expect that, given, you know, Zyklaboo is a giant boo, so there's gonna be a lot of these creatures scattered all across, like, the later parts of the game. What the hell am I on? It's the same color as a big boo! Am I on Zyklaboo itself? Oh, this is getting absolutely freaky, let me tell ya. We're actually on Cycloboo. Well, we're on his butt, but 
basically it's the same thing. So let's stop the video here, and in the next part, we're going to take him on. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching.